G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Currently in the garage, as you can see, surrounded by motorbikes, becoming a bit of an addiction at this point. But I'm doing some work on the MT-09 today. Got a few parts sitting over here that are ready to go on. Should clean up the look of this bike nicely. So I'll take you over and have a quick look at what I've got here ready to go on, and then we'll chuck the parts on. Let's get into it. I really need a workbench in this shed, it would make this much easier, but anyway, first thing I've got here, just some tank gripper pads that I got off Amazon, they were about $20, $30, so that'll be a nice easy one to kick things off. Secondly, I've got this tail tidy kit from Mustard Bikes, that'll clean up the back of this bike really nicely, that stock thing on the rear looks disgusting, so I cannot wait to get that off. And the third and final thing I got here, just from Rogue Motorcycles. Just some uh, bar end mirrors, so they'll look nice on here. The mirrors that are on here work really well, but just the look of the bike, they don't look that great. So I think these things will clean up the look of the bike as well and should look really good. But anyway, we'll jump straight into it. I'll get those tank gripper pads on first. Nice and easy one. Then the tail tidy, and then we'll do the bar end mirrors last. So I've just opened up these tank gripper pads. And yes, if you're wondering, I am wearing a helmet <laughs> to video this and install this. Things you do for the shot. Got one here in the center, it'll go about there somewhere. And then uh, two other ones, obviously one for each side. I've already gone and just quickly cleaned the tank with some spray and a, a microfiber cloth just to make sure there's no dust or anything on there so these things will stick good. So obviously being some just cheap ones off Amazon, there's no instructions of how you should go about sticking these on. Pretty straightforward, I guess. You just peel the back off, slap them on there, away you go. But what I've gone and done, I've gone and confiscated the Mrs. Hairdryer. And I'm gonna use this on heat just to heat up the back of these tank gripper pads on the glue there. Should make the glue nice and soft and hopefully help it stick a bit better to the bike. So at least that's the plan anyway. So I'll do them one at a time, take the backing off, give them some heat and then uh, put them where I want them to go. But I'll do this middle one first, should be easier. And then uh, we'll try and line these side ones up so they match perfectly either side. There you go guys, there's the first one on anyway. Pretty simple, heated it up a little bit and then just made sure I had it in the center, just eyed it up, looks pretty good to me. So leave that one there. Now just gotta do the side ones. Might be a bit more tricky trying to line them up to get them to match on either side. Um, there's not really a line like there was in the center here to, to line that up in the center. This one, I'm just gonna try and follow the little crease in the tank here with this edge and then try to match it either side best I can. So just a quick little tip here guys, if you're doing this yourself, I just got some masking tape off the shelf, had lying around, and I've gone and held this pad here where I want it, and then I've just put a few bits of masking tape there, just around the edges, just to give me that bit of a guide, so once I heat this thing up and go to stick it on, I'm not trying to place it perfectly and have to keep peeling it off, so that should help me out. Oh, there's that first side done. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Then the tank pads are good to go. Well, there you have it, guys. Gripper pads are all on, both sides and that middle one. Nice, easy mod to start things off for the day. But that's enough of the gripper pads. They're done. Get onto this tail tidy kit, because, I mean, look at that. That's disgusting. <laughs> no one ever leaves them on there, right? I'll get this kit open up. I'll get cranking on that one. So I'll do a bit of an unboxing video here for Mustard Bikes, Aussie company, see what we got in here. Plenty of bubble wrap, that'll keep the kids entertained, or me. <laughs> got an install video apparently, might need that. Got some, oh, I'm throwing things everywhere already. Got some parts here, got some cables for the blinkers I'm assuming. Zip ties, bolts, plenty more foam. Alright, let's just tip that out. And the final piece, oh, no, more pieces. This is really lightweight stuff, like, obviously you can't tell in the video, but that weighs next to nothing and another one there must be the two side pieces stay there i'm using the tenere as a table because it's all i've got on here and the rear one number plate holder with some more cabling very nice so we'll whack this all together i might actually watch this install video don't normally read instructions or watch instructions but i'll watch this video and it might save me some time so I've just decided I'm going to watch the video, the install video on my phone and I'll just do each step as I watch it rather than having to go back and keep watching it again. It doesn't seem like a hard process to install this anyway but it'll just save me some time rather than having to go back and forth so we'll get into it. The first step is take this seat off and undo some bolts and pull out the existing stuff and then we'll get the good stuff on there. Thank you. 
So some pretty straightforward stuff so far guys. All I've done is disconnect some of these cables. Had this plate that was sitting on top, undone the four bolts for that, that comes off. And then another four bolts underneath that were just holding the tail on there. That comes fully off. There's no real need for me to go into full detail of what you have to do to install this. If you do get one of these mustard bike kits, their video, install video is actually really, really detailed. So literally anyone could do it. it. Tells you everything you need and every little bit that you have to do. So it's really, really simple. So I don't really need to show you every little thing that you gotta do. But yeah, so far, tail's off. Everything's undone, so get to the next steps. So here's where I'm at guys, I didn't film putting all this together, as I said, Mustard Bikes video is uh, more than enough for that, it's pretty detailed, so all I've done is just pull apart the old tail, apart from the number plate, I've got to get that off after, but put together all the new bits, put the blinkers back in, I think there is a different kit if you want to use uh, some aftermarket blinkers, but I'm just keeping the standard ones, I think they look fine, I just put some tape on there and wrote right and left, so I knew which one went where, ran all the cables, um, and yeah, now it's time to chuck it on, do all the bolts up, plug all the cables back in, in, put the number plate on and so pretty much done guys just got to chuck that seat back on and we're good to go but man look how good that thing looks that's so much tidier especially side on here man that makes such a difference really simple install that one guys just use the bolts that they sent me then bolt that tail actually back on there and then the number plate is the existing bolts for that and then all i had to do is plug the wires back in cable tie them in place and then put this seat lock mechanism back on with the bolts that came out of there we'll flick him on see if we've done it right here oh look at that we've got a light so that works blinkers yep right blinker left all good brake light still works we're sweet now that, that tail tidy's done we'll check out these bar and mirrors and get these things off so these are the bar and mirrors that i've got as you can see there, much smaller than the ones that are on here to compare <laughs> i'd still like them to be a bit bigger for functionality but they're going to look nice anyway but yeah looking online there was a bit of confusion of what bar ends in some kits actually work so i wasn't too sure if these were even going to work so as you can see over here i've already done one side i wanted to see if they'd work off camera before i go and take all these off as well but yeah really easy i just took the original bar end off and used the original uh, bolt that was holding it on there pulled all of this stuff off this one so it didn't have to go inside of it and just use the original bolt straight in tightens on the end there works fine so hopefully it works on the throttle side but i'll give that a go now and uh yeah then we can just take these ones off i'll have to order some some caps or some other black bolts that go in here to cover off the tops of them once these come off but yeah really simple install took like a minute we'll go and get this other one on see what she looks like I'm out here on the street, finding any excuse to go for a ride on this thing really. <laughs> but just wanted to get out and see how these mirrors go, if I need to adjust them or not. I bring the little Allen key with me just to uh, be safe in case I've got to adjust them. But I just stopped to change the GoPro to Super View. It was on linear, so it doesn't look as pretty when you're riding. But anyway, the mirrors, they're pretty close. I think I need to adjust this one just a little bit forward so uh, the one on the right looks good obviously they're much smaller than the ones that were on there so the field of view isn't as great but I always knew that was going to happen so you just deal with that for the looks I guess but I love it I love the look of how it looks now with, with these bar and mirrors tail tidy and these gripper tank pads they're good stopped from sliding forward as much and I'm braking not that I'm in race mode and braking super hard but it just stops you from sliding forward that little bit it feels nice but that's it guys that's the first mods for the MTA 9 for me three pretty good mods I think that's probably pretty standard that most people are going to do those tail tidy no one likes to look at that standard thing 
Uh, the bar in here is cleaned the bike up really nicely as well. I'm not sure what the rules are on the whole bar in mirrors things, especially in Queensland. But I've seen plenty of other bikes around with them on, so they must be able to run them without too many issues. But we'll see how that goes, won't we? <laughs> and the gripper tank pads, most people do that on these bikes too. So three pretty standard mods, but thought I'd run you guys through it and keep you updated on the old MT-09. She's a bloody good bike, I'm loving it yet to see what she can fully do but i'm just loving being out on it man so good so much fun but enough from me guys thanks as always for watching i hope you enjoyed that one hit the subscribe button too because i'm sure there'll be more mods coming for the mt09 you know what it's like when you got a bike you can't just stop at one thing it just keeps on snowballing and snowballing and it'll be fully modded before you know it hit the like button for me guys appreciate it a lot and uh yeah i'm off to have some fun Ride safe. Catch you around.